And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round. We're playing as a clown. Let's take a quick look at his loadout. We are playing with barbecue and chili to help us find survivors. Whenever we hook somebody, we have monitor and abuse, which will lower our terror radius when we're not in a chase. Discord and Celeste know when one war, more than one survivor is on a gen together. Pop goes the weasel, which will help us to regress generators after a hook. The parade gloves decrease our reload time. The inner soles increase our movement speed while reloading. Both of those are pretty common add-ons. Nothing really special there. And we're throwing, uh, let's throw a little gasto cake in there for everybody. Clown is not considered to be one of the top tier killers, but he's a lot of fun to play. His ranged weapon is a lot more forgiving than the ranged weapons of, let's say, of the Huntress or... Alright, someone's sending us to Springwood. Bloody party streamers and a cakes. Hmm. Obviously one of the survivors sent us to Springwood. I don't know how I feel about that. Normally not a fun map. Not one of my favorite maps in the game, but there's not necessarily a lot of cover on that map. And I tend to have a little bit more trouble when I have maps with cover. A little bit easier for me to lose survivors and chases at that point. So we'll see what we can do with our clown at school. Our very creepy skin that we have on the clown seems inappropriate as we are on the Batam preschool map. Again, somebody somebody wanted this map, so be able to go left. Not going to go left. Slowed him down a little bit there. in the house again. how that works. Well, 
Well, these pallets in the way. I may not get you to this hook in time. Come on. Barely. Still got a lot of progress on it. All right, we're gonna get rid of this pallet while we're here. this generator. They do not want to let this gen go. You do not want to let this go, gen go, do you? Wow. You do not want to let that generator go. Not uh, not advisable, Claudette. Not advisable. going on with this group. <laughs> Not sure what this group is doing. Somebody DC'd already, wow. I just noticed that. No, no dead hard for you, my friend. Right, we're gonna reload while we got you on the ground. You right here. Well, they finally got that generator done. <laughs> Claudette, <laughs> we can see you there, Claudette. <laughs> we can see you there, Claudette. person left and I did not see them on barbecue. You have DS, Claudette? Ah, uh, you do not. You do not. All right, so I see one person running away. Where'd the other person go to? 
would have thought maybe a locker, but I don't see it. <laughs> All right. All right. You know what? No one has DS. There's no obsession in this match, so I do not have to worry about that. Nobody showed up on barbecue. Hatch is sometimes in the street. <laughs> Not this time, maybe in the basement of one of these buildings. not under here. We can go check the basement of our other building over there. And see if it might have spawned in there. And all right, no hatch spawn in there. <laughs> Wherever that. Well, there's our hatch. <laughs> the question is, that's a decent distance away. We gotta be able to get. We gotta be able to get back and forth in time. That I don't know. That I don't know. I mean, we have a somewhat straight path. And we have four full bottles, so. Well, they're gonna have to make a move eventually here. Did they start one of these gates already? I heard him over here. I don't know if they're going to be able to get that gate open in time. I think they were over here. I think they were just hiding. I think I'm going to get an end game kill. I don't think they're going to get that door open in time over there. And they did not. I still don't know where they're at. We heard them over here. They were hiding over here somewhere, but a little unsatisfying end to that. Would have been nice to have hooked that last person, but they never made an attempt to try to get the game. So we will just take the 4K, kind of unconventional, a end game collapse death and a I, again, have no idea why the person who quit on the hook quit on the hook. And it's somebody who brought a brand new part. And the bloody party streamers. Again, what's going on, dude? Why would you, why would you DC? 
just do not understand some players sometimes. No real reason to DC. You lose your bloody party streamer. Everybody else brought the cakes, including me. Maybe he thought I was the one who brought us to, to that map. It wasn't even me. So you get no points and you get nothing except the, except the badge of shame for quitting on your teammates. But everybody else, that was a, that was pretty much a wipeout. And what helped us was they were all they were all congested by that by those uh, two generators by the killer shack. That one that was upstairs, and they would not let that generator upstairs go. They just kept going back to it like moss to a flame. We were able to hunt them down and a pretty solid victory for us. We'll take it. Like I said, kind of an unconventional 4K, but we will absolutely take it. Hope you enjoyed the round. Please hit the like and subscribe button and check back with us. We have new Dead by Daylight videos on a daily basis, both killer and survivor rounds with my friend Jeff. Until our next match, thanks again, and we'll see you in our next Dead by Daylight.